Good morning, grade fives. You are going to do page 51 today. Numbers 1 and numbers 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. I've written that at the top of the page as page 51, number 1, and 3 to 7. It's October 16th, 2012, so write that at the top left of your page, and you can write your name at the top right of the page. Here's what the page looks like in your textbook. The first question, number one, says use the numbers in the box. That is this box over here on the right. Find the pairs of numbers with each sum. So the first one is 50. So we need to find numbers in this box with a sum of 50. Or in other words, numbers that add up to 50. So just glancing at the box, I see 20 and 30. And I know that 20 plus 30 equals 50. I also see that there's 10 and 40, and I know that 10 plus 40 equals 50, and I see 15 and 35, and 15 plus 35 equals 50. So I know that the num in the box, these pairs of numbers add up to 50. 20 plus 30, 10 plus 40, and 15 plus 35. If you look, you'll find that there are no other pairs of numbers that add up to it exactly 50. For B, it wants you to find the pairs of numbers that add up to 60. So I'm going to look, and I'll start at the top left, and I see 10. And I know that if I add 50 to 10, I'll get 60. So I look in the rest of the box and see if there's a 50, and there's 50 right there. So I'm going to start by writing down that 60 equals 10 plus 50. There may be others, so I will let you look for them. And for question 1C, I'll let you see if there are pairs of numbers that add up to 70. And for question 1D, you need to see if there are pairs of numbers that add up to 80. Question number 3 asks you to use the numbers in the box, and it means this box over here. And it says, find pairs of numbers with a sum that is a multiple of 100. So I started by figuring out what the multiples of 100 were. And here they are right here. Any number that has a 0 in the 1's place and a 0 in the 10's place is a multiple of 100. I have written down the multiples of 100 up to 1,000 because I don't think we'll need the 1's higher than 1,000 for this question. So the first part of 3 is 3a. It says find pairs of numbers with a sum that is a multiple of 100. So if I look at all of these numbers, I need to find numbers that will add up with each other, pairs of numbers, to give me a multiple of 100. So either 100, 200, 300, so on. I know that if I add the hundreds place in these numbers, that will add up to a multiple of 100. So I need to worry about the tens place. And I need to find uh, pairs of numbers that have tens that will add up to 100, so that we would add that to the other hundreds to have a multiple of 100. So here's what I mean. If I take 110 as an example, I know that if I add to 10, the 10 in 110, because if you put 110 in expanded form, you get 100 plus 10. So I know that if I add to 10, 90, I will get 100. So I'm going to look for another number that has 90 in it. And if I look at 110 and I look at 290, I know that I can add those up to get a multiple of 100. Because the 100 and the 200 add up to 300, and then the 10 and the 90 add up to another 100 for a total of 400. So I'll write that down like this. Question 3a, numbers in the box that add up to multiples of 100, 110 plus 290 equals 400. And I've put three dots here to show that there may be others, and I'll let you find the rest of those. Question number B uh, in three says, why are the numbers compatible in each pair you listed in part A? And I'll give you a hint. I won't give you the answer, but I'll give you a big hint. It has something to do with the tens place in each add-in. And if you were paying attention to how I explained how I got the first pair, you'll probably be able to figure out how to explain why are the numbers compatible in each pair you listed in part A? Question number four says, estimate each sum. Explain your strategy. And the first one is 6,145 plus 3,007. Here's what I wrote down for that. 6,145 plus 3,007 is about, that's what this squiggly equal sign means. So it's showing that it's an estimation and not an exact calculation. 
So it's about 6,000 plus 3,000. I just front-end estimated each of those two add-ends, and I get 9,000. So I've written down here front-end estimate. Even if I rounded them to the nearest 1,000, I'd have the same two numbers to work with, so that could also be rounding to the nearest 1,000. For B, for 3,654 plus 372, if I front-end estimate each of those, I get 3,000 plus 300, which is 3,300. But this isn't accurate, since it's lower than the very first add-in, 3,654, all by itself. And this is because one add-in has thousands and the other only has hundreds. So I'm going to tighten it up by adding 600, I'm going to front end estimate 654, and that will uh, give me, since that's a front end estimate of the hundreds, tens, and ones in 3,654, that will give me the 3,300 that I started with plus that 600, which is 3,900. A whole other way of doing this question is to just round each add-in to the nearest hundred, so round 3,654 plus 372, round 3,654 to 3,700, and round 372 to 400, and you'll get 4,100 as an estimate. Once again, the squiggly equal sign means about. So 3,654 plus 372 is about 3,700 plus 400, which equals 4,100. That's if you round each of the two add-ins to the nearest 100. I will let you do C, D, E, and F, and now I'm going to show you how to do question 5. Question 5 says to estimate, the, estimate to find the sums less than 10,000. So I'm going to give you a hint right off the bat that I know I don't need to do D because 9,997 plus 8,743 is way more than 10,000 since this is almost 10,000 all by itself and you add another more than 8,000 to it. So I don't need to do D and there may be one or two others that that's the situation for. But I'm going to show you how to do 5A, 3,099 plus 5,824. Here's how I did it. I took the first add-in and front-end estimated to 3,000, and the second one and front-end estimated to 5,000. 3,000 plus 5,000 is 8,000, and I've written FEE to show that that's a front-end estimate. Or, if I were to round each number to the nearest 1,000, I would round the first one to 3,000 and the second one to 6,000, since I'm going to round it up, since there's an 8 in the hundreds place, which is more than 5, meaning I should round that up to the nearest 1,000 above 5,824. And if I do that, I get 9,000. So one estimate was 8,000, the other is 9,000, and I bet that the answer is probably going to be somewhere in between those two. For B, taking 6,489 plus 3,204, that is about 6,000 plus 3,000, which is once again front end estimating. And then if I wanted to tighten that up to get a closer estimate, I would take that 9,000 that I started with and I would round the 489 in the hundreds, tens, and ones and the 201 in the hundreds, tens, and ones in the second add end to the nearest hundred each. This rounds to 500 and this rounds to 200. So 500 plus 200 is 700, and I'm going to add that to the 9,000 that I had in the first place, and I get 9,700, which is a much closer estimate than the really rough front-end estimate of 9,000. For C, once again, like that other example that I showed you, I don't need to do this one since I can immediately tell that 4,673 plus 6,595 will have a sum greater than 10,000, since 4,000 plus 6,000 equals 10,000, and that's an underestimate. I would like you to see if you can figure out how to do number 6 and 7 yourself, and this whole assignment will go in your light blue math exercise book.